Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about slow motion using Twixdoor and special effects using a really cool plugin called Twitch. You're going to need uh, Adobe After Effects. Uh, I use Fraps for the video capture. And for slow motion, I prefer Twixdoor. And I'm using Video Copilot's Twitch, which is incredible for video game effects. Okay, so here's the last PvP video I did with uh, multi-boxing hunters and multi-boxing shamans. All right, let's get started. You can see that all of my video is shot at 30 frames per second. Let's go to a new composition. We're gonna do 1080 at 30 frames per second. And uh, drag your video down into the timeline to fix the size, right click on the video, go to transform and fit to comp. All right, now the video fits on there. Let's jump forward a little bit. This is what the timeline looks like with all of the video added to the timeline. Drag this comp into a new comp. Rename it. First, we're gonna add some slow motion effects. In effects and presets, select Twixdoor. Now you can see that I set the input frame rate to 30 frames per second to match the frame rate that I shot the video at. And here I can uh, change the speed. Uh, the starting speed is gonna be at 100%. Then I'm going to move over one frame and I'm going to slow it down to about 5% and move down the timeline a little bit. Right at the point where I want slow motion to end, I hit another keyframe for 5%. So you can see how this works. It goes 100, 5, 5, back to 100. So the speed ramps down and ramps up very nicely, eventually back up to 100%. The cool thing about using a faster speed, like 150%, speed, you can use motion blur compensation. So if you add some motion blur compensation like 0.75, you get this really cool blurring effect. Now let's add Twitch. Uh, I'm using Twitch presets, so go in your effects and presets and, and browse for the Twitch presets. I want to add some blue glow. So the blue glow causes this really cool flashing. I double click on blue glow and add that to the footage. And I drop down some keyframes at the default 100 amount and 5 speed. Uh, move over a frame. And uh, basically it's going to start at amount 0 and speed 0. And then in the next frame it'll go up to 100. Change those to 0 and 0. I want to add distortion. So I can add another twitch effect as well and I want to use bad distortion which makes a really cool distortion effect. So I'm going to do the same thing where I'm using keyframes here. I drop down some keyframes starting at zero and immediately going up to 100 amount and 5 speed. And then I'll drop down some more keyframes at the end of the effect. Change those to zero and zero. Here for these twitch effects, both of them come on strong and they kind of ramp down to zero. Another really cool twitch preset is jitters. So let's take a look at time jitters. Double click on time jitters in the next frame, ramp it up to 105. And select where you want the effect to end, drop down some keyframes, change those to zero. That's what it looks like. And uh, that's, that's all for this short tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like this channel and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Good luck and have fun.